This tutorial will go through the basics of masking with X-Array. X-Array supports masking using the WHERE operator. This can be used to mask a data array by itself, by its coordinates, or by another data array with, with matching coordinates. First step is to import the required libraries and the matplotlib inline magic. We need a data set to operate on, so we'll use the temperature at surface data set used in previous tutorials and assign TAS to the TAS variable inside the DS data set. As a trivial first example, we'll mask TAS with itself. For clarity, a variable TAS0 is defined. TAS0 is just the first time point of TAS using the iCell command, then TAS0 is used to mask itself. So TAS0 where, where TAS0 is greater than 270 and also where TAS0 is less than 295 and then we'll plot the result. Now this isn't a very useful mask but it does show what's happening. This is a global data set by longitude and latitude, the near surface air temperature, but only the values between 270 and 295 are, are displayed. The rest are masked out as, di as indicated by white pixels. The same masking operation can be applied to any time point in the TAS data array or even the whole array itself. X-Array will automatically broadcast along a missing dimension. So to show how it works, TAS0 is used here in the mask. We use the same masking as before, where TAS0 is greater than 270 or less than 295. We're masking the entire data set TAS, and then we're selecting out just one time point. So the entire variable TAS has been masked in that time, but we just select out the 300th time point. And you can see the pattern of where is masked and where isn't is exactly the same because we're using the same mask but the values are different because we're displaying the 300th time point and in fact the color bar shows that the the data is very varying showing from 255 up to beyond 295 kelvin but the mask is based on 270 to 295 so it shows that we're operating we're using the same mask but we're we're operating on a different slice different time point Coordinates can be used to mask as well. This is not a very useful example, but it does show clearly what is happening. So I'll just do the plot now. Just note this is different to the cell operator, as the data retains the same size dimensions, but fills the masked areas with missing values, whereas cell would just get rid of them and alter the dimensions. It also shows that where can take a second argument. So I'll just explain with the the first bit is just to set up the subplots so they're beside each other so it's easier to see. But there's two there's two plots shown here. So TAS0, again, that first time step, where TAS0, the latitude variable, so TAS0 .lat references the latitude coordinate, where that's greater than 225, we're going to keep it. The rest we're going to mask, and we're going to mask it with a value of a fixed value of 240. So you can see down in the plot below, Above 25, we've got the normal data. Below, it's it's all just one value, 240, and we're going to plot that. Then the second one is the same mask, greater than 25, but what we're going to fill it with now is different. Before it was a, a fixed value. Now we're filling it with a different time point, the, the sixth time uh, point in this data set. And you can see the difference above 25 here, it's the zeroth, zero time point, and below it's the sixth one. This is a very powerful and useful operator, the WHERE operator. It's also possible to mask a data array with a different data array. So in the same collection that contains this near surface air temperature data, there's also a NetCDF file which contains the land surface fraction data. The variable name is ST, SFTLF which is difficult to type and understand, so we'll just call it landfrac. Notice also below that the variable was referenced 
directly in the open data set call. So the URL is, is given there. And Landfrac is open data set, URL, and then directly referencing the, the data array within the data set. So we don't have to go through an intermediate data set variable. Ocean is defined where the land fraction area land area fraction is zero. So this can be used to mask the data and only calculate metrics over land or conversely over ocean. So if we load this data and then select here. So here we're using iCell to select the first time step and then we're using the WHERE operator to, to select only for land fraction greater than zero and plotting it. And land fraction greater than zero is land and you can see a global data set but only the land, the temperature at the surface of a land is shown. The calculations of anomalies from a climatology that we calculated in an earlier tutorial can be calculated as before. I won't go through the details except to say, because we're just going to use this as, as a result down here. So we calculate the mean anomaly by year and averaging over all the points, but the calculation can be performed over land and ocean separately using the where operator. We've got some other sort of matplotlib stuff to get them to overlay, but the important stuff to remember to see is this. So we've got three lines from three different plots. We've got some labels so that the legend shows up nicely. But the first one is this anomaly where land fraction greater than zero. So that's our land signal, and that's shown in blue. Same one, but where land fraction equals zero. So that's our ocean, and that's shown in orange. And then we should plot the, the global anomaly by year, and that's shown in green. 